Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone Especially to our IMD222 Technical Support Service and Maintenance for Information Agencies Lecturer Which is Encik Ahmed Nukade Mustaje Mayuso So today, me and my team are going to do a presentation on our group assignment Which is OS Installation But first, let us introduce ourselves first So my name is Nura Izati Binti Ayazi And I am from KIM 1104G my name is Rahima Binti Rosmadi. I am from KIM 1104G. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Adira Izwani Binti Jamaluddin and I'm one of the members in this group. And we are from KIM 1104G. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Fatina Biha Binti Roslan and I'm from KIM 1104G. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm Fatin, so I'm going to show you how to do the step 1, which is preparation of installation list. Okay, so the first one, you have to find the link, the Windows 10 link that have been provided in the guideline. Click on the link and click download tool now button. After that, you have to wait for a while. After it's done, open the file and wait for getting a few things ready. Next, you have to accept the license. On this pop-up, you have to choose Create Installation Media and click Next button. Choose Use the recommended option for this PC and choose ISO file media to use. Click Next. After that, you have to name your file and choose the place to save your file. On this session, you have to wait until the progress is 100%. It may take a bit longer. Thank you. 
after it's ready click on finish button and your file will be placed on your chosen document after that you are done for this part I will be telling you guys the part B which is the installation of virtual machine so first of all all you need to do is search virtual box at your search engine and click the first one which is download Oracle VM virtual box and it should come out like this to download it go to virtualbox 6.1.22 package and as you can see it has windows host os x host linux distribution solaris host and solaris 11 ips host if you are using windows click window host to download it if you're using Mac OS, just click OS X host to download it. Since I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to click Windows host. Once you have clicked, it will come out a notification like this. And all you got to do is just click next. Make sure you read all of the instruction. Next next and you have to make sure that everything is stick before you click next click yes and click install and you have to wait for a couple of minutes to complete the installation To complete the installation, you have to click finish. And here you are. The installation of virtual machine is complete by installing the virtual box. Hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Noadira Izwani. I'm going to show you and explain part 3 which is installation of operating system. So the first one for this step, you need to download VirtualBox and you open it. After open, you click the new button which is the blue one. and put the name Windows 10 after that you can click next then for the memory size you need to change 4096 MB and next then just click create and change it into VHD and also next next and just click the create button create again and then you go to setting in general you go to advanced system then you go to processor and change the CPU into 2 
after this, you go to display and change it into 2 for the monitor count. Just change it into one bag and storage. Then empty. You see the uh, CD logo, then click it. Choose a disk file and the Windows 10, click open. Now you have Windows 10 in your virtual box. Click OK. And then start. Wait for a several minutes or second. Now you can start when you choose the window 10 from your file. Wait for a little bit. Now you have window 10 in your reader box. You need to complete the form that given. Just next and install now. Wait for a little bit and click I don't have a product key. Then Windows 10 Home next. Okay, go through and read. Then you click the I accept the terms and next. Choose the other one and next. Wait it for loading for a little bit. For it to complete the installing windows. This may take time for like 2 or 3 minutes. According to your Wi-Fi. So after this, you need to wait a little bit. And then let's create your account. Just put your email, or you can use a number phone. So I use the number phone. Just put the, your number phone. Later, it will send you a code to your number phone. So you can create your password. Choose your country and also your birthday. And then just click next waiting for the code to be sent to your message and just enter the code that I have given to you after you click next it will be loading for a moment. Then just accept.
and then just choose whatever you want and I choose cool work click asset and then continue or just no tense if you don't want to connect your phone to your PC waiting for a several minutes and then here you go your window stand in your video box thank you Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Rahima Binti Rosmadi. I will explain about the last step which is setting up the operating system. First of all, the thing I did was change the wallpaper desktop to the UITM logo. Then, as everyone can see, I will show my desktop icon which is my computer, recycle bin, network, documents and control panel. The first one is my computer. My computer or this PC is the same thing. When I open this PC, you can see what is in it, such as folders and devices and drivers. Next, the desktop icon that I drag is the recycle bin. In it, we can see what we have deleted and recover the file that we want. And next, I will look for the network. In it, there is status, Ethernet, Dial-Up, VPN, Airplane Mode, and also Proxy. Then, I click File Explorer to find where the document is. Then, I will search control panel. Press open. In it, there are 8 things namely system and security, network and internet, hardware and sound, programs, user accounts, appearance and personalization, clock and region, and ease of access. The next step, I will show you how to install device drivers. The next step is to find the disk partition in the search section.
click open here we can see what is in this management To perform the disk partition, we must be careful to prevent unwanted things from happening. Then I will show you how to set up virtual memory. First, Click this PC, right click and select option properties. Then click advanced system settings. Then we can see virtual memory in performance. Now, I will show you how to share a folder. Firstly, click File Explorer, click Document, right click Logo File and choose option Send To. We can select any option we want to send our file. Next, I will show you how to run Task Manager. Right click at the above icon, choose Task Manager. Last but not least, I will show you how to run device manager. To run it, we have to enter the name of the program and click OK. This is the device manager. In this device manager, there is the main desktop and other devices.
As a conclusion, the use of OS installation gives a lot of benefits such as OS allow installing a different types of apps and run them. Secondly, OS improve work efficiency and save a lot of time reducing the complexity. Lastly, every system component is independent of each other, so the failure of one system will not affect others. I think that is all from us sir. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.